little sneak peek. Bum bum bum. Yep, got him. Should be a good fit. Um, just to give you guys an idea, these are 17 by nine and a half. And look how beefy the tire is. They're 17 by seven and a half, so should be good. It's gonna be really, really beefy. Which honestly, I'm cool with because um, I just, I don't know, I got over it. Now the, the interesting part is that I have some 225s, 45s on the Advance on the RP01s and they don't look as beefy. So I don't know if it's a tire itself because this one's look really, really beefy on nine and a half. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm okay. Damn, 240. Beautiful. Probably works for Project Import. Oh, well, the diff as a daily? Sick. I guess I tried. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, I don't mind it if it's really, really beefy just because I don't want to be running into issues of uh, cracking barrels and things like that. Now, the Advent should not be cracking. They're just very well, uh, good quality. But I just never know. Sorry. <laughs> that car right there. <laughs> Backed into the main street. I'm like, uh, I probably just want to do the U-turn here. But anyways. Um, so yeah, we're going to see. Uh, I, don't, I don't foresee any fitment issues. Um, I'll go over the wheel specs and everything for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just trying to recycle the tires that I already have. And hopefully the the valve stems and everything it all works i mean i've run into issues before where the valve stems don't work when i get wheels from other you know parts other places um but yeah it should be it should be a good time 17 by 10. Yeah. so they're gonna be sitting in the back burner for a long time i don't see myself selling these wheels and even if I did, uh, it wouldn't be a, a cheap price. And even if the cheap price wasn't cheap, I still wouldn't want to sell them. <laughs> um, freaking badass. Headache, but badass. Um, Ooh, that's perfect. Oh. We made it back it's a little sunny this morning but tires and wheels look great i think uh that's exactly how tall and beefy of a setup i wanted they're gonna look amazing so definitely the Nitto neo gens um i love the way they're the tire air airs if that makes sense to some of you guys um yes that advent wheels they should go with advent tires such as Actually, no, no, these are Falcon. Damn, I'm chipping out. Are these the Falcon ones? I'm confused. Dun, dun, dun. I should be able to know just by the tire thread. No, these are the Falcons, yeah. Yeah. The other ones have the ad. I usually just buy ad then, but yeah, these are the Falcons. I usually just buy ad then, but um, I want to try something different with these wheels, and so that's why I went with the Falcons. But I think the RPO ones has advents. Yes, they do. And that was the that was one of the concerns because when I was looking at this, you'll see it's 17 inch wheels over there. The tire doesn't look as beefy. Or maybe once the car sits on on the car, uh, the car sits on the tire, maybe it doesn't look as aggressive. I don't know. But for right now, some of you guys don't like like the bubbleness. I love it. I'm I'm all great for it. Alright, so wheel specs. So yeah, advent RG ones. 17 by seven and a half. Well, what am I guessing? If they're over here, plus 33. Where is the right there? So, yeah, 17 by seven and a half plus 33. And then the front ones, which are freaking rad. They're 17 by eight and a half plus 37. So that's gonna sit perfectly up front, have a great feeling about it. 
I think it's gonna look good with um, either car, either this one or Rosie, but I'm gonna put them in Rosie just so I can give it a different look. And I should raise the car a little tiny bit because they're 17 inch. All right, so I think the gold and the red, or what's left of the red, will look good. Man, this I was super over torqued. I'm like, who did that? Of course it was me. Um, okay, it's the right one. Oh, the right one. It was extremely over torque. Um, the other side was too loose, so I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, hopefully we don't run into any issues with the lug nuts not fitting the wheels. Sorry about that. It goes off to the side right here. Let's see. Shouldn't have any issues. Uh, to remind some of your port owners, uh, what are they again? 17 by eight and a half plus 37. Tire 225, 45. I'm sure you're still gonna ask. Running on uh, EF, it's going to upper control arms. Cause that's, that's another question that I always get, man. How did you get that much camber? EF, camber arms. They fit, it's a tight fit, but they make them fit. Shout out to Honda Society. It's no longer around, sadly. But that's where all the Accord dude got all their information. You guys can see. But now, let me know if this is a wheel bearing thing. It mostly does it when it's going forward. Well, it has a different tone when it goes backwards. That's gonna suck. So, what happened? Would you change? next to the old ones and there's a little bit of, this, this one's a little wider so I think it's gonna sit even nicer on the, on the front of the okay looks good really wanna be daily driving this car like that yes that's so good I dig it let's put it in the front end um, so I got a battery for this older um, torque wrench this one should allow me to put the grill that we painted. It's been sitting there. So, let's see if we can put it right now. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this hole, but I ended up doing it with this little knife. Um, I tried doing it with the grill, like the grill, the drill, and, um, and like, you know, sometimes you just get it started and it just wasn't budging. And this thing, this material is so, so delicate though. But I don't wanna mess it up. So, slow and steady. My little knife did the work. All right, so, did the two holes. I'm only gonna be keeping it secure with the two holes on top. Um, this thing is really light. Put the grill back on, the mesh, I should say. Looks clean. I think the car will look more aggressive with it. Um, just thinking out loud, I think. I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Uh, we'll see how the front lip and the bumper sit. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with that, I think it looks great. I think the gold and the red really, you know, just makes it pop a little bit more. Don't I don't know, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's a replica, so what do we expect? I'm actually surprised I was just able to get it this close. All right, guys, this is the next day. Turns out the story time is no longer available in July, so they're gonna wait till October. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is what she looks like at the moment. Like I said, there's so many more things I need to do. I need to redo this vinyl because it, it popped up. So just about cleaning it. I think the girl came out amazing. It's paint matched to somewhat degree. Maybe paint the, the bumper again, just to give it a nice little retouch. The front lip would also benefit from that. And then, as you guys can tell, I, I'm loving it. I think it looks great. The gold pops very nicely. The, the stance, I think it's right on the money. Um, I'm not scraping in the speed bumps where I live, so that means that the car was raced a tiny bit, 
um, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna lower it I think this is great um, I think it writes perfect and just the look of it so let me know what you guys think you guys like the black wheels better you guys like these gold wheels um, ultimately my favorite part about these wheels obviously the design the specs but I love that blue ring with the Advan Racing um, you know logo and stuff so thank you guys so much for tuning in and hang out with me seems like you guys enjoy just chatting and you know kicking it with me all right catch you guys in the next one peace out everyone